Hey everyone, welcome back to another Foundation Friday video. This time around, I'll be reviewing the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I picked this up recently during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty for, I believe, $18, so $36 for its original price. I got the shade in medium tan, and this one has SPF 25. So I wanted to pick this up because I don't really have like a tinted moisturizer in my collection that has a pretty good coverage. I have one from her minerals and that one is really just like a moisturizer it doesn't provide any coverage at all and then I briefly looked over the reviews of this product and they said it's really really good coverage so I wanted to pick it up and try it out for you guys so I could tell you what I feel about them so as far as claims with this product it's an all-in-one SPF primer infused a tinted moisturizer with lightweight natural looking dewy coverage that hydrates the skin for 24 hours so as far as additional information on Sephora, it's primer infused for all day wear and a healthy glow. And this skin tint primes, perfects, protects, and hydrates. It's a lot of claims. And it has rose extract, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, goji berries, gold, as gold, and peptides. The breathable vegan and oil-free formula moisturizes conditions and protects. So it has a lot of claims. I did not know that it has gold in this product, so I was actually surprised about that information. I'm actually wearing the product all over my face so before I move on to my actual review I'm gonna cut right into my application of the product. So for this demo I just have moisturizer on my face and then I sprayed it with my Smashbox primer water just to get my face all hydrated. I know this is a tinted moisturizer but uh, that's just kind of my routine so I'm used to it so for the shade of this one, I have it in medium tan. I've already worn this once and I find that the color medium tan is a little too dark for me. So I feel like I could probably use medium, but if I use this more during the summer, this would be the perfect shade because right now I don't really have much color on my skin. So it is a little too dark. So first I'm going to apply this product on the right side of my face so you can see what it looks like on one side. And I'm just going to use my finger since it's a tinted moisturizer. So right off the bat, you get a lot of coverage with this product for a tinted moisturizer. It's like a ton of coverage, but it feels really lightweight. So here is that layer, so very dewy looking and it's very lightweight. You can barely feel it on your skin. So there's that and then there's this side. So you can really tell how much darker it is compared to like my neck and my face, but we're testing it out today. So here's what it looks like. And then for the second part, I'm going to apply the foundation, well, tinted moisturizer with a brush on this side. So I'm just going to dot it along. So to blend it out, I'm just using my Real Techniques buffing brush. So here is the product blended with a brush and I feel like you get better coverage with your fingers but I don't like applying anything with my fingers because I like using tools. I just don't like touching my face because I have acne prone skins. So with the brush application, I felt like it was a little bit streakier because it is a tinted moisturizer. So the coverage is a little bit lighter compared to this side with the fingers. I feel like I got really good coverage with that side. So just to even everything out, I'm just going to just buff the product in 
with the brush so that they look kind of similar. And then coverage wise, I'm pretty happy with just this one layer. Usually for most of my foundations, I go back in and do another dot just on my cheeks because that's where my most problem areas are, where my acne scarring and all that stuff is on my cheeks. I probably don't need to go back, but I'm just, just gonna do just a tiny dot on each side of my cheek just to get a little bit more coverage in there. As far as color, it kind of matches, but it is much, much darker because my neck is really pale and my face is really pale because I do use SPF daily. I would also like to note that the product doesn't have like a sunscreeny smell or any smell whatsoever. I don't notice anything. So as far as how this product feels to the skin, it feels so lightweight. For something that's a tinted moisturizer, this provides really good coverage. I was so surprised. As far as naming it tinted moisturizer, um, I wouldn't really call this a tinted moisturizer because it's really good coverage. The feel of it is really nice on the skin. It's actually really lightweight and really feels hydrating. Right off the bat, as far as after application, my skin looks really dewy and hydrated and I was actually really nervous of how this was going to wear throughout the day because my skin looks so dewy. But after applying powder after application, it actually mattifies the skin really, really nicely. And because this foundation is hydrating, it actually keeps my oils from peeking through too quickly and I feel like it really helps with the wear time with this product. I've actually never tried a foundation type of product from Smashbox Cosmetics which I'm really surprised about but and but if you've followed me for a while you guys know I love my Smashbox primer water that's like holy grail status for me and I wear that like every single day before application because I feel like it just preps my skin really nicely no matter the foundation I wear on top because I feel like it just makes products cling to my skin when my skin feels hydrated. I just love this this because I just love that primer water so I'm actually surprised that I haven't picked up the Smashbox foundation. So overall as far as my thoughts with this product I'm actually really surprised of how this wears really nicely on my skin and coverage and I am a big fan and I highly recommend it. Um, the color for me right now medium tan is actually pretty dark. I mean you can't really tell this much because I've added all the other colors on my face. The medium tan is actually just a tad bit darker than my neck and my body right now, but I feel like I'm going to get more use out of this product during the summer months when I don't want something that feels heavy on the skin for coverage. And so the medium tan will be perfect because I'll be a lot darker around then. As far as wear time with this tinted moisturizer, so I've had the tinted moisturizer for about 8 hours now and I've blotted my face throughout the day. I usually count how many times I blot. So this time around I blotted maybe 5 times. Um, coverage wise on my nose is pretty gone so it's just that's just my nose shininess but for the most part I think the foundation is still quite I mean, I keep saying foundation. Um, the tinted moisturizer is still intact. And so this is what everything looks like. I think everything is still intact. The only part that's pretty much gone is just my nose area. I don't think it wore weirdly. It didn't make my concealer like crease or anything like that. So. So that's my little wear time. It actually has really nice wear time. At the end of the day, I did blot more than normal because it is kind of like a dewier product. But even after blotting, I feel like the product actually clings to the skin really nicely. It doesn't fade weirdly. It doesn't cling onto my weird spots or sink into my acne scars. It just kind of fades out beautifully on my skin throughout the day, which I'm really happy about. So as far as summary with how I feel about this product, I really love the coverage. It feels so nice on the skin. It's so lightweight. So if you're looking for a product that has a really lightweight feel on the skin, if you don't like, you know, that foundation-y feel, you will really love this product because it really feels like just water on your skin. It's so hydrating but provides really nice coverage. And it surprisingly wears really nicely. It's 
and even if you have oily skin you do still have to blot quite a bit and if you have oily skin you do need to powder with this product because it is really really dewy right off the bat like I could not wear this at all without powdering it because it's really dewy like right after application so I do have to powder and I do need to blot throughout the day but I don't mind it because I think it wears beautifully throughout the day so overall I would recommend this product especially if you're looking for a product to wear during the summer months when it's hotter and you don't want anything heavy on your skin so that is pretty much it for this review i hope you guys found this helpful and i'll hopefully see you guys on my next video bye